All right, so let's look at how to export this. So this is a completed animation. Bloop. And um, what I've done is I have added the resolution gate so I can see what the framing will actually be on the render. This is 1920 by 1080. I'll show you how to get there. So I want to go in the rendering menu set and go to render render settings. So I don't have any lights in here. Um, so I'm just going to use my software. I don't need to add lights for that. It'll default to Arnold Renderer. You do need lights for that. So we're just going to mess with this one right now. Be simple with it. Okay. So boop, boop, boop. car management, whatever. File output. So you want to make sure that you have a good name on this thing that makes sense and uh, choose your image format. So it's a still images that we're going to work with. I like this one. This is the name plus the number of the image. So it'd be the frame number, one, two, three, four, five, six. Da, 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 da. You can also do underscore if you prefer. Uh, I don't really like playing with these extra. I don't like it after the extension, so it doesn't read well. So it's kind of a mess. So I usually stick with these. Frame padding is how many zeros in front of your number. Four is fine. It's plenty. We don't have very many frames. Uh, start frame. Obviously, I'm going to start on a one. In this case, it ends on frame 59. So I will go to frame 59. All right, so that needs to be accurate. Uh, I am rendering from the perspective camera because that's what I'm viewing here. If you've added a camera, it will show here. So you can select the camera that you want to uh, render from. Presets, so this is the big HD. So that's what I'm going with. And you can see it settings here. Okay, so I'm gonna close that out and go to render, batch render. And it's going to warn me. Yes, I know it's a student thing. Da, 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 da. You can actually see it rendering down here. And it'll just kind of do that for a minute. So you'll want to find your project folder. Um, you should have set your project. And if you set it, it should go in here. So you're going to see it generate these images. Boop, 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 boop. It's rendering them out one by one. Uh, so this is every frame of the animation. And it'll finish when we get to the frame we told it, which in this case would be 59. You do want to make sure you check that because the default is 10. And 10 is a good way to test it. So if you're not sure it's going to work, um, don't export your whole video. Just export a chunk of it. And it looks like it's nearing the end here. And there we go. So you can see there's the animation frame by frame. So what we're going to do next is turn this into a movie. So I'm going to open Encoder. And Encoder lets us convert uh, things into other things. So images from one file type to another. Um, in this case, it's going to be an image sequence into a movie. So I'm going to add a source and click on the first one, it's going to recognize that this is the sequence of images because of the way it's numbered. So you can see it imports it from 1 to 59. H.264 is excellent compression. Uh, I do want a high bitrate matching the source. Um, and it's going to default to the folder that you pulled from. So everything looks good. Hit the green button and watch it go to town very fast. And then we have a movie. So we can play the movie and there it is in all its beautiful glory. So it's a little bit of a process to get something good looking out of Maya, but it is completely possible. Hope this video was helpful to you.